हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट पेजिंग सेगमेंटेशन डिमांड पेजिंग विद सिंपलेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड एग्जांपल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्ले लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज पेज रिप्लेसमेंट अलगुरिदम हियर वी विल डिस्कस first page replacement algorithm that is fifo let's start the session so in our previous some sessions we have already discussed all the subjects in detail with practical demonstration solve examples and some important question bank this all subjects will be helpful for your university exam purpose as well as gate exam purpose please subscribe my channel and also share it with your friends so in today's session we will discuss first about page replacement algorithm then there is a fifo page replacement algorithm solve examples and some important question bank let's see all these points one by one first we will discuss what exactly page replacement algorithm as we discussed earlier in operating system there are total two types of memory primary memory and secondary memory primary memory means ram random access memory in your system operating system use primary memory for execution purpose and secondary memory for storing purpose as we know ram has limited size like in your mobile there is a 16 gb ram 8 gb 32 gb ram is there right so ram has limited size so operating system cannot keep all the pages of particular program particular process in main memory all time they kept all the pages in secondary memory suppose cpu demanding the page number 3 and page number 3 is not present in main memory for execution so when page is not present in main memory this is called page fault or page miss so at that time what happen operating system bring page number 3 from secondary memory to main memory for execution this is called demand paging or we can say swap out so operating system move page number 3 from secondary memory to main memory for execution purpose and after that the particular page have executed now what happen here suppose this ram is already full and cpu demanding the page number 4 but ram is full now right so at that time operating system use different page replacement algorithm they remove some existing pages in main memory and swap in into the secondary memory means the particular pages which is required for cpu for execution only that pages present in main memory got it and suppose if particular pages already present this thing is called as page hit okay so you have to learn two concept page fault and page hit page fault means page is not present in main memory for execution and page hit means page is present in particular memory for execution now in operating system there are page replacement algorithms like first in first out optimal page replacement lru mru so in today's session we will discuss first in first out page replacement algorithm with solve examples as per your exam point of view this is one of the most important topic for solving example purpose now let discuss first in first out now let's quickly understand what exactly fifo page replacement algorithm it is one of the basic and simplest page replacement algorithm in operating system here as we discuss earlier operating system keep track all the pages in main memory and all these pages have stored in the queue data structure format that's why they use the concept of first in first out assume that cpu demanding the page number 4 and your ram is full now so operating system remove the first page that we have added in particular queue in main memory so this is a concept of fifo page replacement algorithm means that page we have added first in main memory that remove first in this way they kept only execution pages in particular main memory otherwise 
all the pages have stored into the secondary memory see here in this diagram uh, in this particular flow chart suppose cpu demanding the page 4 so they send a page request right and suppose page 4 is present in main memory which is called page hit and suppose page number 4 is not present in main memory then page fault or page miss is occurred so operating system fetch the pages from secondary memory to main memory for execution purpose so two concepts have used page fault and page hit and those page we have added first that removed first now let's understand this concept with sol example now let's understand with this sol example this kind of example generally asked in your university exam as well as gate exam purpose see here two uh, things are given like reference string and frame size this is your reference string or assume that these are the pages cpu demanding these pages one by one that operating system need to add in main memory for execution then frame size is given equal to 3 and you have to find out total hit, total fault, hit ratio and miss ratio. So let's see how to solve it. So first you have to draw one table. Assume that this is a random access memory in your system that is RAM. So on left side your frame size is 3 means F1, F2 and F3. Total 3 frames are there. And on the top side, this reference string as it is, like 701, 203, 042, 303 and 120. This is your given reference string. So basically, you have to draw one table, frame size by reference string. Okay. Now, next step. See. So first CPU demanding the page number 7. So currently, uh, this memory is empty. 7 is not present in main memory. So, when particular page is not present in main memory, page fault is occurred, right? So, here page fault, so operating system fetch 7 from secondary memory to main memory for execution. Got it? Now, next. Next is 0. So, check here, 0 is present here? No. So, this data as it is, 0 is not present, means page fault is occurred. So, after that, 0 is added. Right? Again, next is 1. Check here, 1 is present in main memory? No. So, write down this data as it is. 1 is not present in main memory, means page fault is occurred. And operating system fetch this one and add into the main memory for execution. Next is 2. See here, is page 2 is present in main memory for execution? No. But now RAM is full, right? You can't add 2 here. So at that time, FIFO page replacement algorithm have used. Operating system check here which page that they have added first. Which page they have added first? 7, right? So now replace 7 with 2 and remaining data as it is, okay? So again, page fault is occurred because 2 is not present in main memory here. Got it? Now next, next one is 0. Check here, page 0 is already present in main memory? Yes, 0 is already present. So when particular page is already present, which is called page hit. And write down this data as it is. No need for replacement. Next one is 3. See, page 3 is present in main memory? No, means page fault is occurred. Now you have to replace page 3 with 0 because after 7 0 have added first in first out right so you have to replace 0 with 3 and remaining data as it is okay now next one is page 0 check here page 0 present in main memory now no means page fault is occurred so here operating system replace page 0 with page 1 now. So they mention 0 and remaining data as it is. Right. So see here. Basically you have to replace the pages one by one. First frame 1. Then frame 2. Then frame 3. Again frame 1, frame 2, frame 3 in this way. That is called first in first out manner. Okay. 
Now see. Next one is page 4. So page 4 is present in main memory? No. Means again page fault is occurred. And now after frame 3 again you have to replace frame 1 data. So replace 2 with 4 remaining data as it is. Okay. Now next one is page 2. So page 2 is present in main memory? No. Again page fault is occurred here. Now you have to replace 3 with 2 and remaining data as it is. Okay. Now check here next. Next one is a page number 3. Means CPU demanding the page number 3 for execution. Is page 3 is present here? No. Again page fault is occurred. Now you have to replace 0 with page 3 and remaining data as it is. Okay. Next one is page 0. Check here. Page 0 is present here. No. So now you have to replace 4 with 0 and remaining data as it is. Right. So just focused here. You have to replace F1, F2, F3. Again F1, F2, F3. Again F1 in this way. Sequentially. First in, first out. Okay. Now next one is a page number 3. See. So page number 3 is already present there in memory. So which is called page hit. No need for replacement. Page is already present for execution. So write down data as it is. Okay. Now next one is page 1. See. Page 1 is present in main memory. No. Means page fault is occurred. So now you have to replace 2 with page 1. And remaining data as it is. Now check with 2. Is 2 is present in main memory? No. So again page fault is occurred there. And you have to replace now 3 with 2. And remaining data as it is. And now last one check. Page 0 is present in main memory? Yes. So when page is already present which is called page hit. And write down data as it is. So this is called FIFO page replacement algorithm. Those pages we have added first that removed first from the memory. And CPU demanding that particular pages only mention in main memory for execution. Now see here. So how many hits are there? 1, 2 and 3. So total hits 3. How many faults are there? So total fault and total miss is same. Okay, sometimes we are using the word fault or sometimes we are using the word miss. But both are same. So, how many faults are there? Total 12 faults are there. Right? Now, you have to find out the hit ratio. See, and the formula is number of hits divided by total number of references. See, number of hits are 3. Total number of references means total 15 strings are present. So, 3 divided by 15 into 100. Means hit ratio is 20%. And next one is a fault ratio. And the formula is number of fault divided by total number of references. So number of fault is 12. Total number of references means this. Total 15 strings are there. Into 100. That is 80%. Means 80% fault ratio and 20% hit ratio. So in this way step wise you have to solve this example. Now, as per your previous year question paper, they have asked this kind of question. See here. Okay. So, first they ask what is page fault. So, page fault means uh, if page is not present in main memory for execution which is called page fault. Again, particular strings are given. Uh, frame size is given. And you have to apply FIFO as well as LRU. That is least recently used algorithm on this. So, we will discuss LRU in our next session. So, all these questions are same. These are the most frequently asked question. So, I am suggesting you solve this question. Practice it. Okay. So, this all question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks. So, this is all about FIFO page replacement algorithm. In next session, we will discuss about the LRU page replacement algorithm. So, stay tuned. Thank you. Keep learning.